man, I set enough posts to start building a pole barn. Finally getting around to getting my sawmill base built. Thought I'd have it built by November or December, and here it's March, end of March already. And now I've got these six by sixes here that I'll be using for uh, the top rails. And I don't have a whole lot of time to work on this today, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get these sawed to length and set them in place and call it a day. I think this will be a pretty good spot for a sawmill base because it's right here by the shop. And I'll just uh, build a lean-to off of here eventually, um, hopefully this year, and get it under cover. And it will also give me some room to store a little bit of lumber underneath it in the dry. Once I get my sawmill set up with my homemade extension, I should be able to cut 20 foot 5 inches. So that'll be nice. Right now I'm, you know, tight under, I'm tight at 10 foot. I'm going to go and uh, take my wife out on a date and I'll be back at it tomorrow. Well, this is the next day. I went ahead and put cross pieces in by all the posts and uh, put some two buys. Bunch of scrap stuff that I had, I cut and scabbed it on the inside and outside to hold my uh, skids on, and turned out pretty sturdy. This end, my posts are only like 10 inches in the ground. It's sitting on uh, bedrock, which is a good thing, so I won't have any trouble with it settling over time. But that end, I got down to 20 inches. Well, now I'm gonna go ahead and get the sawmill moved down here and see what it looks like. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. I just strapped this 6x6 to the log bed to keep it solid, keep it flat. And then I strapped this, uh, I strapped the head to the forks there and to the forks back there. And it rode over here good. I, I was just bringing it from just right up there. Just brought down the driveway and up the road here. Well, I think it's looking good. Um, hopefully next weekend I'll get this uh, 10 feet of track extension built. The, it's a homemade track I'll just be putting together. And if you guys want to see this sawmill in action, I'll go and put a playlist right here with like three or four videos in it. You can see this amazing little machine. See you there.